This is a dog uh, named Bullet. Been working Bullet on some dog rope calves. Uh, does very well. Uh, he was real aggressive. Had to back him off quite a bit. Uh, had to slow him down a lot. Tend to go from dog broke calves. Uh, these are some dry mama cows that we have. Uh, it's a good transition. They tend not to fight as bad. Uh, if you notice Bullet, he's kind of lost. He doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, just trying to uh, get him started here. Uh, you notice here he lied down. What we've been doing every time he bites, I try to lie him down just to teach him not to be so aggressive. Uh, this dog's going to make a good dog. Uh, this is Bullet, uh, same group of mama cows. Uh, these cows aren't bad about fighting. Uh, it'd be kind of unfair to put a young dog on cows or calves. Uh, I'd be asking a lot of them. I'd rather start him this way and build his confidence. You'll notice he will give a cow a chance to walk away before he bites. Uh, this is this is pretty good stuff. Uh, he's not a, a zigzag hyper dog that wants to slash bite. He will walk right up in their face and uh, tend to kind of like this. We've been practicing this for a few days and he's catching on, he's getting better. Uh, you can work with a, with a dog like this. All right, this is Bullet. This is September 29th, 2013. Bullet. This is a different location across town that we have. Uh, down on a little road called Nance Road. We put some heifers out there. Had taken another dog and bullet a Kelpie dog have called Rex and used these two dogs to dog break these calves. Uh, we're going to get these cattle up and vaccinate them uh, here in just a few days. So just wanted to kind of prepare them so we could get them up on Saturday when, when we need to get them up. Bullet has learned to take his time. Uh, he's learned that he has not got a bite every cow in the pasture. Uh, you got to be careful with those dogs that try to bite all the time. They're going to end up getting themselves killed, getting their teeth kicked out. And that's not going to make a good dog. He's doing a good job bringing them up slow, not running any weight off of them. Hi, this is Bullet again. We're still progressing on driving. Uh, he's getting more comfortable with his driving, uh, doing a good job. This is a group of about 30 heifers. Uh, they're not bad about fighting. They're, they're good to work a dog on. Bullet's learning to take his time, uh, learning to control the herd just a little bit. He's, uh, he's getting to where he's a real nice dog to use, a handy dog to have. This dog came uh, from some good working parents. Of course, that doesn't always guarantee a good dog, but it does help. Notice that as he gets further away uh, from where I'm standing, he's a little more hesitant. Uh, that's just a confidence thing that will come with time. He'll get better and better. But he's doing a good job about not rushing them. He's not cheap shotting them. Uh, doing a good job with them. I've been driving, uh, like to always end the day with a, a retrieve. 
simply because that's the last thing I want on his mind is uh, is to bring cattle to me. Uh, all dogs like this, simply because you leave them alone. Uh, they have a target, which is you. Uh, you'll see, watch your bullet. He's learned to bring them in slow. He's not running them. What I just asked him to do is that whistle. He was dragging a little bit, so I asked him to push him up just a hair, but he's still not rushing too fast. You'll notice he'll bring them anywhere we go. Uh, same case if you load a trailer or anything. Stand at the trailer gate, let him push them to you. This is March 21st, 2014. Been working the dogs in the yard a lot. Uh, they getting kind of bored with it, so change locations, go out and work this group of heifers. And, uh, it kind of makes them happy for a little while. Got three dogs out here today. Have a Border Collie Bullet. Hell head and hell both. Have a uh, Kelpie, uh, name is Rex. Uh, he will only head, very seldom will he heal. Have this little Roscoe dog here, little Border Collie from Ripley, uh, and he will only heal. Uh, likes to push, 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 and trying to slow him down just a little bit. This is the first time this little Border Collie here that you see in a picture has ever been out on a on a group of cattle. We've been working three calves in the front yard for a while, so just having to push him to the back side. He's going to be a handy dog to have because uh, he will heal the heck out of the cow. You see there, you just have to, we just got to teach him, you know, not to push too hard. These dogs like these days like this because Try to leave them alone. As long as they stay on the backside, bringing cattle to me, try not to say too much to them. They just like we are. They don't like to be told every move to make. And you'll make a better dog if you let them think a little bit on their own. The more time they spend behind cattle, the more they learn how to work cattle. The yellow dog and the bullet dog. Uh, they've had a lot of experience working cattle. They do a good job. I'll walk through the middle of these cows sometimes to split them up uh, just to make the dogs regather them again. That's why you notice uh, sometimes seems like I've got cows all around me. I just walk up through them and make them go. That tends to make some of these dogs cover the stock a little bit, makes them pay attention to what's happening. Now, this little dog here occasionally is going to get in the wrong place, but that's all right. She's learning. 